I'm about to get a call out. Somebody is about to discover that I am a phony. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're good, hope you're well. So today, I wanted to talk about Today, I wanted to talk to you about something that I struggle with and I know loads of people struggle with and that is imposter syndrome. So I thought about this the other day because I got some good feedback um, at work and I realised how quickly I forgot about the good feedback and how quickly I started worrying about this fake negative feedback that I never ever got and it made me think about imposter syndrome. <laughs> so the term imposter syndrome was coined in 1978 by some psychologists and this is how they defined it. It's described as an internal experience of intellectual phoniness in people who believe that they are not intelligent, capable or creative despite evidence of high achievement. So essentially you feel like you're fake and there's a sense of, I'm about to get a call out, somebody is about to discover that I am a phony. Sound familiar? And as if that wasn't bad enough, studies have also shown that imposter syndrome can be greater amongst minorities because it's there's the internal battle of thinking we're not good enough, paired with the external reality of sometimes being the only one in the room, the only one in a company, the only one in an office, and you've got the societal stereotypes, societal judgments, and if you're from the UK especially, we have this thing of, if we are first generation and our parents were uh, migrants to this country, you sometimes are in a position where you're actually better off or more successful than your parents were at your age in this country. And therefore you don't have that sort of um, historical family tree to look back at and see, oh no, yeah, my mum was in this position, my dad, my granddad, you're sometimes the first or the most successful in the lineage. And then that can add to the feeling of, I don't deserve this, I don't belong here, I haven't achieved this, I'm fake, I'm faking it. So the way that imposter syndrome for me shows up is in the following ways. So I already mentioned at the beginning, one of the things is that I quickly forget my achievements, but I hold on to every and any little failure, even if it's not a failure. So I could get the most amazing praise from a CEO, I can get amazing feedback from someone, I can have friends and family telling me, oh my gosh, you're so good at this job. Great, I, it makes me happy, I can't lie, it makes me happy for, uh, for a while, but not as long as it should, and I don't hold on to it for as long as I really should. On the flip side, if I make one small mistake, I cling onto that mistake and I feel like everybody else is clinging onto that mistake even though they've probably forgotten about it and it wasn't a big deal in the first place. <sighs> Anyone else feel my pain? <laughs> Another thing is feeling like there's no room for mistakes. Well, who told you that? If you are an employer, if you are an employer, imagine now somebody makes an honest mistake. Are you bothered? maybe a little bit but not really but in my head when i make a mistake oh my gosh i'm now the worst person in this whole wide company <laughs> and that should not be the case another thing i've done in the past which is really bad is i've really downplayed any positive affirmations for example i remember there was a time that one of my in my um first sort of job out of uni I got a pay rise and I got a bonus and I was so happy and I was like thank you god it's actually the pay rise I was going to ask for I didn't have to ask for it I got that I was happy for about the rest of the day the next day it hit me hmm we're just about to re this was around the time when they had to release all companies had to release their gender pay gap it was just before we released that and I started thinking hmm did they just give me this pay rise so that the gender pay gap is less? Hmm, I'm probably the least senior person in this company, so I was probably the most affordable person to give a pay rise to. Is that the reason? Why am I thinking these things? Why am I not just thinking, you did a great job, you deserve a bonus, you deserve a pay rise, and you got it. Instead, I was like, this is the reason, this is the reason, everything else other than my own achievements. Other times, I don't know if I'm the only one that's ever thought this. I look around and I'm like, hmm, at my first job, did I just get this job to tick a diversity quota? Why am I thinking that? I'm obviously qualified for this job. I'm obviously doing a good job. I'm like, hmm, did they just hire me because I'm black? Another way that it sort of comes out for me is I'm very, very in, um, aware 
of when I'm not as well versed as some of my colleagues. I'm very aware when I'm not as well spoken, I'm very aware when I'm not as well traveled, I'm very aware when people are talking about these ski holidays that they've been on and I have not and I just think, hmm, am I out of place? These are the ways that it manifests and it messes with my head and it's not right because I deserve to be in there as much as everybody else. But it's the reality of imposter syndrome and it's why it's even a thing. So these are just a few things that I do occasionally to try and shake the imposter syndrome out and remind myself that I deserve to be here. Number one is I remind myself of my achievements and I take a trip down memory lane. So like I said, I easily forget my achievements. So sometimes it's good to sit down and actually think back to what you achieved. Hmm, remember that campaign that you did that went really, really well? Hmm, you remember that time your manager said, oh my gosh, this was amazing. Hmm, remember that time when the CEO called you out in an email and said that you did a great job. Hmm, remember that time, remember that time, remember that time. You just have to remind yourself of your achievements because it's so easy to forget. Maybe write them down, keep them on your phone, do whatever it takes to remind yourself that you are doing a good job. Another thing I do is I ask, I ask for affirmations. Hey, did you think I did a good job? Hey, how do you think I'm good at this? Hey, ask, ask for feedback if you don't want to ask for, hey, tell me I did a good job. Ask for feedback because people usually give you positive as well as things that you can work on. And it's a great way to hear what people honestly think about the work that you do. And if you're at a certain job, if you're in a certain place, in a certain career, odds are you're doing a good job, otherwise they would have got rid of you. So ask for those affirmations. My love language is words. And so affirmations, they are dreamy to me. So there's no shame in asking. Remind yourself that everybody is winging it. Everybody's winging it. Nobody knows what they're doing. Everybody's faking it. Literally like the flipping prime minister is probably winging it. We're all winging it. None of us know what we're doing. So take comfort in that. <laughs> Finally, I try to remind myself often that even if I'm not qualified, I'm here. And that means God has ordained it for me to be in this position. God has put me here. God knows I'm here. He's happy that I'm here. He hasn't told me to leave. <laughs> Which means technically I am qualified because he's put me here. Even if I'm technically on paper not qualified, there's a reason I'm here to learn, to be a blessing, to do something. And therefore it doesn't matter how I feel because I'm supposed to be here. So I might as well be here and do it well. <laughs> Hope you took something from that video. Let me know in the comments below if you sort of deal with imposter syndrome and how you overcome it. I think a lot, a lot of us do. On the flip side, if you are confident as heck, then I wanna hear from you. I wanna hear what makes you so confident, how you have gotten to this space of being so confident. Let's have a conversation as usual down below. And give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.